Here's my preview and prediction of the Georgia, number one seed Georgia versus the four seed Ohio State in the college football playoff. And yes, I'm focusing more on the college football playoff games for pre previewing predictions because of all the opt-outs to the NFL draft on the other bowl games. So bear with me on that. Georgia is currently favored by six and a half. Of course, it could be changing between now and then. Which, as of this recording, that I mean. And I'm going to go into the stats for the season and predict who's going to win that game. First of all, George. Ohio State scores 44.5 points per game, 100, 198.5 rushing yards per game. They have 286 first downs on the year, by the way. But I'm going to focus more on the yards here. 294.2 yards passing per game, while they allow only 19.3 they allow 119.9, 100, yeah, and 884 passing yards per game. But keep in mind, they got exploited against Michigan. Big time. Third down, third down wise, just like 74 for 154 offensively, which is 46%. 54 for 177 on third down defensively. as a whole Ohio State has 82 tackles for loss they have 32 sacks on the year they have forced 17 turnovers 10 interceptions 7 fumbles they only allow 44 tackles for loss this year 8 sacks but they have turned the ball over 10 times 6 interceptions 4 fumbles and they even had their, one of their kicks blocked and by the way, the Ohio State defense has blocked two kicks this year. So, that's just saying that right there. Now, Georgia's side of things, they average 39.1, five points per game. They allow 12.77, clear defensive edge to Georgia on that category. They rush 207 rushing yards per game while allowing 77. They average 284.9 passing yards per game while they allow 215.1. Third down wise, 82 for 159 on offense, which is 51.57%, while defensively 47 for 176, which is 26.7%. So, that's just naming that. Now, they have forced 20 turnovers this year, 13 interceptions, 7 fumbles. They they had a safety. They had a, a block kick. So, got to keep that in mind. 81 tackles for loss, 27 sacks. So, while they allow 45 tackles for loss, seven sacks they have turned the ball over 16 times six interceptions 10 fumbles so I know playing the ball wise Georgia has punted the ball 40 33 times for 1483 yards which is average is 44.9 the longest 75 eight of those went further than 50 yards this year so and 18 of those landing inside the 20 yard line. While Ohio State, on the other hand, has punted like 44 times for the most commonly used punter for 2,006 yards, 45.6 yards. Long is 77. 12 of those were 50 yards or more. 12, 20 of those land inside the 20 yard line. 
Now, field goal wise, Ohio State has made 15 field goals out of 17. 4 for 4 on 20 to 29. 5 for 6 on 30 to 39. 0 for 1 on 50 or longer. And of course, 6 for 6 on 40 to 49 yards or long is 47 yards. Now, Georgia, on the other hand, on the field goals. They have made 24 for 27 combined with their two kickers. One for one on 20 to 29 yards, 11 for 11 on 20 to 29. Nine for nine on 30 to 39. Two for four on 40 to 49. One for two on over 50 yards, the longest 50 yards. So who do I think is gonna win this game? I think it's gonna be within 10 points, no doubt. But I lean Georgia. They've been there before. Not to say Ohio State hasn't recently. But they know this is a game that they need to get. They will. They, they have the clear defensive edge to me. They're kind of similar to Michigan in a way. Which could pose a problem for Ohio State. Though I know Ohio State has had one week off. Because they were not in their conference title game but Georgia is the better team defensively though I will say the past defense kind of looked not so good against LSU but they have more than enough time to rectify that so yeah really the slight advantage of, is the offense by only like 0.8 yards but Georgia is a more physical team in this game. And I know Ohio State's without one of the better wide receivers for the game, too. So, give me Georgia, but I think it's going to be within 10 points. I would be shocked if it was more. But it, if they do, it just shows how much better Georgia is compared to Ohio, Ohio State. Anyways... If you like this content, hit the like and subscribe. And see you guys later. It's going to be important to subscribe to more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.